Welcome to German History with a German accent. My name is Wolf WLF, just like the animal. And before I start this video about Wilhelm List, please make sure if you like this video to hit that thumbs up button and hit the subscribe button. Siegmund Wilhelm Walter List was born on May 14, 1880, in Oberkirchberg, as son of the physician Walter List. After Wilhelm List finished school, he joined the Bavarian army in the year 1898 and was promoted to the rank of second lieutenant in the year 1900 and served in the 3rd Pioneer Battalion. Wilhelm List attended the artillery and engineering school as well as the war academy that he left with the qualification for the general staff. In the year 1913, List became a captain and he was transferred to the 1st Infantry Regiment, König. When World War I broke out, Wilhelm List served in the staff of the 2nd Army Corps, and in the winter time of 1915, he became sick and needed surgery. When he had recovered, he was used as the 2nd Staff Officer in Army Detachment Stranz, and in the year 1917, as 1st Staff Officer, in the 8th Reserve Division. In January 1918, Wilhelm List was promoted to the rank of Major. For his achievements in the war, he was awarded both classes of the Iron Cross as well as the House Order of Hohenzollern. After the First World War had ended, Wilhelm List was part of the Freikorps Ebb and helped to fight down several communist coup d'etats against the Weimar Republic. From April 1923 until October 1924, he commanded the 3rd Battalion in the 19th Infantry Regiment and was promoted to the rank of Lieutenant Colonel. He served as the 1st Staff Officer of the 7th Division. On March 1, 1927, the promotion to the rank of Colonel took place. On February 1, 1930, he took over command of the infantry school in Alberstadt and was promoted to the rank of Major General in October of the same year. Two years later, 1932, Wilhelm List was promoted again and became a Lieutenant General. When the Nazis rose to power, Wilhelm List became commander of Wehrkreis IV as well as commander of the 4th Division. On October 1st, 1935, List became a general of the infantry and was named commanding general of the 4th Army Corps. In February 1938, List took over the position of commander of Army Group Command 2 and after the Anschluss, where the German Reich had occupied Austria in 1938, was completed, it was his job to integrate the Austrian army into the Wehrmacht. And on April 1st, 1939, Wilhelm List was promoted to the rank of Colonel General. As commander of the 14th Army, Wilhelm List participated in the Poland campaign and was awarded the Knight's Cross of the Iron Cross on September 30th, 1939. He also took part in the West Campaign as commander of the 12th Army, he was part of Army Group A. For his achievements in the campaign, he was promoted, together with 11 other generals, to the rank of Field Marshal on July 19, 1940. Still commanding the 12th Army, Wilhelm List was in charge for the German advance in Greece and Eastern Yugoslavia. Yugoslavia had surrendered on April 17th and Greece on April 21st, 1941. Wilhelm List had accepted the Greece surrender. After the campaign was completed successfully, List became commander-in-chief southeast. He was in charge of the military commanders in Serbia and northern and southern Greece. In October 1941, he gave the order to build hostage camps and to shoot the hostages in case of partisan attacks. 
On July 1, 1942, Wilhelm List became commander of Army Group A on the southern part of the Eastern Front that advanced into the Caucasus region. Shortly after he had taken command, disputes with Adolf Hitler led to his dismissal on September 10, 1942. He was taken as a prisoner of war by American troops in May 1945. After the Second World War, Wilhelm List was tried in the hostage trials and convicted. In the year 1948, he was sentenced to life in prison, but was released in 1952 due to poor health. He lived until August 16, 1971.